Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading August 26th to September 1st, uh, 2019 and bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we can jump right into it. Right. So the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Cancer, is going to be the Four of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here. That is going to be the Three of Cups, uh, followed by the next one, which is the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Knight of Wands. And the last one, it is going to be the, uh, the Ace of Swords, which stands for the guidance the Tsar is offering. So uh, it does look like that you are going to support some sort of an underdog into your social circle throughout this week. It is because you are going to see huge potential in that underdog while the other people doesn't see it at all. So in other words, for a specific person or for a specific idea that you and that person share, um, everybody else are going to think that this is a, either a waste of time, you know, or it simply doesn't worth going forward to. So you are going to have significant difference into the vision of a, a particular endeavor with, um, with your social circle, I would say, you know, because it involves majority of people. Well... You know, it could be with your mother and father-in-law, for example, you know, or with your colleagues at work. But the, the thing is, that it's not going to be with that, in, with that important person, like your partner, for example, husband or wife or etc, etc, or with your boss, let's say. Okay, so uh, before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Four of Pentacles as a topic, followed by the Three of Cups, which stands for the challenge. Afterwards, it is the Knight of Wands, which represents the positive aspect. And the final one here is going to be the Ace of Swords, which stands for the guidance. All right, so Four of Pentacles, uh, it looks like that you are going to kind of like uh, uh, solidify yourself upon uh, Upon your comfort zone, I would say, so it's it's like a, um, how can I describe it? It's um, it's like maximizing your potential into, um, into the current endeavors that you are doing. And additionally to that, you're as well going to uh, adopt a, a defensive position. For a reason being, not because there are gonna be any enemies or any sort of that, but you don't want anything wrong to, to undergo when you are to uh, put your glance upon a new options in front of yourself or upon new opportunities, that is. So being said, uh, this defensive position of your behalf, it is only so you can ensure a more stable future for yourself. This is going to be the whole topic of the week. The accompanied card that is going to be the Ace of Cups formation. It is a uh, passive uh, friends actually that we do have. So 
with the ace of cups that could be you solidifying on on your love like solidifying on your partner let's say the two and a person are loving each other but you're not quite together well congratulations it does look like that you're gonna be together this week or you're gonna have that big chance to be together as well all right these uh, two cards here represents that this week is going to be very, very emotionally stable for you. I, I don't see with these cards any tantrums whatsoever. And the good thing as well is that with these couple of cards also, Cancer, you may find... Um, it's not finding a resolution, but you may discover that some of the plights that you're struggling with simply doesn't worth your time all right and they 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 are they're basically irrelevant insubstantial and therefore you can put them behind your back lighten your burden and you know proceed with uh, uh how do i say it and proceed forward with securing your future so uh the next one it is the challenge that you need to overcome and this is the crowd here three of cups so the Three of Cups points, like said before, that your vision for the future is not going to be exactly the same as the vision of your co-workers, maybe mother and father-in-law. It could be with your own parents as well. That could be where you just found out your new place to go and detach from your family, you know, securing your future. And it makes your current plights being living with your family, beneath, uh, being beneath their toes, you know, completely irrelevant. They are not agree with it completely, you know, completely understandable. So this is how it could play out, just as an example. But the thing is that, like said, it doesn't look like that these people as well are going to are gonna be willing to cooperate with you in a sense to help you. And frankly said, they don't understand you why you are going for, uh, for that goal or aim of yours. It could be that as well, you know, you want to be with a certain person, you can't be together and your friend simply doesn't see what you see in this person and they may be criticizing you for that or <clears throat> simply they start, uh, how, how can I say, it? they start paying you less and less attention to a point where probably you ain't going to hear from them anymore for the time being you being with this person. The accompanied card here is going to be the world formation. It is a passive friends that we do have and the world pretty much seals the deal here. It does says that this is a challenge that it is no one is much for it. It's basically these people have made up their mind and uh, they don't have your mindset to be able this so that mind or that point that they have made for themselves can be swiped in a different standpoint in your standpoint so the challenge here is not to waste your time trying to convince everybody of your righteousness just do what you think is best for you because it does look like that you're gonna do it very very well and actually even though others may think that it doesn't work for them well it's not about them right it's about you cancer and if it's working for you then by all means go for it uh, the next card here it is about the positive aspect of the week and we do have the Knights of Wands. So this is the underdog I, uh, I talked about. So this could be a shared idea in between you two or it could be their idea that uh, you are going to, um, how can I place it, you are going to believe in. Okay, uh, The Knights of Wands, it's a, a very enterprising, youthful in spirit person. Someone who is willing to do whatever it takes, even against the odds, to achieve one's goal. It's willing to experiment. It's willing to, uh, how can I place it, change as well strategies. This adaptability that the Knights of Wands um, possess, it makes them very unpredictable for, but it's not going to be your for here. It's going to be their for, right? So it makes it very unpredictable for, and it, it is understandable why these people are not seeing, you know, what you see in this person. It is because their mind is narrowed, it's not op it's not open like yours, and for that reason, you know, it's um, again I'm repeating myself, but for that reason that their mind is so closed, it's it, it is why they they cannot even comprehend, you know, of how much 
potential you can have with cooperating with this uh, with this person either love wise or career wise it doesn't really matter and above everything else sitting on a positive position the knight of wands it's willing to help you with whatever you have all right they they just don't, they just won't even question you you know how you get there you have problems with uh, let's say uh, uh your neighbor they're gonna help you they don't even want to know you know how it came to this it, all that they need to know is, is that you need help and they will provide such the accompanied card here it is the four of wands formation very explosive one by the way it is a active support that we do have so together you're not just only going to secure your foreseeable future all right but as well you are going to finalize on an important cycle in life and usually when when this combo comes around this uh, this finalization it comes into a very difficult cycle cycle that up until this moment you could not kind of like close because you missed uh, an ingredient you overlooked something and the knight of wands either tells you what you have overlooked or the Knight of Wands appears to be the missing ingredient that you needed to close this magic circle, you know, and from it move to the next thing. And under saying magic circle, I mean closing the circle of, um, well, this is how uh, it's described in one of the books. It's like a circle of energy. And when you complete it, you basically accumulate so much then the next thing you know becomes so easier that you're gonna go forward with you know that could symbolize symbolize the plan of your life it could symbolize as well you know the preparation for your new job the preparation for your new relationship for example or preparation for traveling it doesn't really matter guys but the thing is that <clears throat> The Four of Wands is not the ending, it is just a traversing the milestone you need in order to reach successfully the ending in a positive fashion, okay? And then we do have the Ace of Swords, which is the guidance, and that, that card tells us here only one thing, be true to your, to your mind, all right? Be true to your logic. So you see the potential into the Knight of Wands, okay? And this is, as you see that potential, by the way, this card as a guidance also tells us that whatever you assess, um, uh, whatever assessment you give on a specific person or situation is going to be accurate. So you see accurately what potential you are gonna have with the Knight of Wands, all right? And everybody else is telling you other way around. So being true to your uh, logic and to your mind, meaning that you should completely overrule what everybody tells you and go with, it's not even with your guts, you know, but with your analytic and agile, uh, intelligent mind, all right? And also the, the, Ace of, uh, the Ace of Swords here asks you, you that you also need to be willing to do some very bold moves, okay, and, and, and bold actions in order to fit with the cooperation of the Knights of Wands because the Knights of Wands is willing to do these well you have to be willing to do these either uh, and the next one is going to be the star card uh, another explosive combo here that is a active uh, supporters once again so with this combo uh, should you be true to yourself pretty much you're going to reveal yourself the path toward a dream of yours. It's not like a, a dream dream, you know, but it's more like a, a dream of success. It's not like a, a dream being, uh, being with a specific person, for example, but a dream being in family, okay? It's not like being dream be, uh, working for a specific company, but dream being lucrative or dream being successful and etc. etc. It's all about that big scale right the, the the grand scheme of things i would say and uh believe it or not uh, you together with these two cards it seems that you're going to make a very very good plan how to move forward a, a long-term plan it's not going to be a plan based on day by day execution okay and kind of like working things around as they come around but it is going to be a very sophisticated thing that you are going to plan moves for a month ahead and that will give you a, additional strength into the um into the security of your future 
So that being said, uh, this was your weekly tarot reading cancer for a uh, August 26th to September 1st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.